Imagine this. You're at your desk, wrestling with a sluggish computer that's holding you back from your best work. The apps lag, the fans roar like a jet engine, and you're left wondering if there's something better out there. What if I told you Apple is brewing a revolution in a tiny package? A device so powerful, so efficient, that it could supercharge your productivity and creativity overnight. Today we're embarking on an in-depth exploration of the M5 Mac Mini, the rumored powerhouse that's got the tech world buzzing. I promise you, if you stay with me through every twist and turn of this video, you'll discover insights and revelations that could completely reshape your tech setup. Trust me, the details I'm about to unpack are so compelling, you'll be glued to your screen until the very end. Let's dive in and uncover why this might be the ultimate upgrade you've been craving. First off, let's set the stage with the buzz surrounding the M5 chip. Whispers from trusted sources like Mark Gurman at Bloomberg and leaks from supply chain insiders point to a launch in late 2025 or perhaps early 2026. This isn't your average chip refresh. It's a bold evolution of Apple's silicon saga. Building on the M4's foundation, that beast with its 16-core neural engine and impressive efficiency, the M5 is expected to crank things up a notch. We're talking potentially more CPU cores, maybe up to 16 in a high-end configuration, blending performance and efficiency cores for tasks that demand raw power without guzzling energy. The GPU? Rumored to pack even more punch with advanced ray tracing and support for higher resolutions. But here's why you need to keep listening. This chip isn't just about specs. It's about transforming how you work and play. Imagine rendering complex 3D models in Blender, or editing high-res photos in Photoshop without a single stutter. That's the promise, and I'll reveal later how it stacks up against real-world rivals in ways that might shock you. Now, picture the design, that iconic, compact Mac Mini form factor that's been a staple since 2005. Apple knows how to make hardware that's as beautiful as it is functional, and the M5 version is likely to refine this further. Expect the same premium aluminum enclosure, but with smarter internal layouts for superior airflow and cooling. No more thermal throttling during intense sessions, this thing could run marathon workloads while staying whisper quiet. Ports are a big deal for creators and pros. Rumors suggest an array of Thunderbolt 5 ports for blistering 120 GB BPS speeds, perfect for connecting external SSDs or 8K monitors. HDMI 2.1 for seamless display output, USB-A for legacy devices, and who knows, maybe even a built-in Ethernet port upgraded to 10 GB for ultra-fast networking. But wait, there's a tantalizing rumor floating around. What if Apple adds modularity, like user-swappable components? Stick around because I'll dive into some wild speculations that could make this the most versatile Mac Mini ever. Performance is the heart of the M5 Mac Mini, and it's where things get really exciting. Drawing from the M-series trajectory, this chip could deliver CPU performance that rivals high-end desktops, with Geekbench scores potentially exceeding 20,000 in multi-core tests. That's not just numbers. It means compiling code in Xcode faster than ever, or running virtual machines in parallels without breaking a sweat. The unified memory architecture expect options from 16GB up to a whopping 128GB in Pro models, eliminates bottlenecks, letting data flow between CPU, GPU, and neural engine seamlessly. For gamers, this could be a game-changer. Integrated graphics capable of handling ALA titles like Baldur's Gate 3 or Resident Evil Village at 60 FPS in 1440p. But don't skip ahead. Later, I'll compare it head-to-head -head with competitors. And you might be surprised who comes out on top. Let's break down those comparisons to give you a clearer picture. Against the M4 Mac Mini, the M5 is set to be a significant step up. The M4 impressed with its base 256GB storage and 16GB RAM, but the M5 could start with 512GB and offer faster SSD read-write speeds, making file transfers instantaneous. Power draw? Even lower, meaning it's kinder to your electricity bill in the environment. Now, versus Windows Mini PCs like the Asus NUC or B-Link Sur 7? Sure. They might boast discrete GPUs for raw gaming power, but the M5's optimization with macOS ensures a smoother, more integrated experience. No driver hassles, no bloatware, just pure performance. And against full desktops like the iMac or a custom Ryzen build? The Mac Mini's footprint is unbeatable. It's desk-friendly, portable, and expandable via eGPUs if needed. But here's a hook to keep you engaged. What if the M5 introduces AI features that make these competitors obsolete? I'll explain how in just a bit. 
Ah, AI. The frontier everyone's racing toward, and Apple is positioning the M5 as a leader. The enhanced neural engine could handle on-device machine learning at speeds that dwarf the competition, powering Apple intelligence with features like real-time language translation or intelligent photo curation. For professionals, this means training AI models locally without cloud dependency, saving time and ensuring privacy. Everyday users? Think Siri anticipating your needs, or apps like Mail summarizing threads intelligently. It's not hype. It's practical magic. Imagine automating your workflow in ways that free up hours, editing podcasts with auto-transcription that's eerily accurate, or generating code snippets in real time. But the real mind-blower comes next. How this ties into emerging tech like AR and VR, potentially making the M5 the brain of your smart ecosystem. Pricing is always a hot topic, so let's tackle it head on. The current M2 Mac Mini starts at $599, but with M5 advancements, base models might land around $799s, scaling up to $1,999s or more for maxed out configs. Worth it? If you're invested in Apple's world, absolutely. The ecosystem synergy, handoff with your iPhone, AirDrop for effortless sharing, sidecar turning your iPad into a second display, amplifies its value. Plus, Apple's resale value holds strong. This could be a long-term investment lasting 6-8 years. For budget-conscious folks, it's still more affordable than a Mac Studio, offering similar power in a smaller package, compared to a comparable Windows setup, which might require ongoing upgrades. And the M5 shines in total cost of ownership. Weighing the pros and cons keeps things balanced, and there are plenty on both sides. Pros start with that legendary build quality, durable, minimalist, and eco-friendly with recycled materials. Efficiency is unmatched. It sips power, runs cool, and stays silent, perfect for quiet environments like home studios or bedrooms. The software library is vast and optimized, from Final Cut Pro for video pros to GarageBand for musicians. Security? Fort Knox level with features like secure enclave and automatic updates. On the flip side, upgradability is limited. You're locked into your RAM and storage choices at purchase, so plan ahead. Gaming, while improving, isn't yet on par with dedicated PC rigs for ultra-high-end titles. And if you're not in the Apple bubble, the learning curve for macOS could be a hurdle, though it's intuitive for most. Exploring use cases brings this all to life, and trust me, you'll want to hear these. For content creators, the M5 could juggle 8K video editing in DaVinci Resolve while exporting in the background. No crashes, no delays. Developers? Run multiple emulators, test apps across iOS and macOS simultaneously, and deploy faster. Graphic designers? Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop with AI enhancements that speed up masking and retouching. Even for families or casual users, it's a media hub. Stream 4K content to your TV, manage photo libraries effortlessly, and handle homeschooling with ease. But here's an extended thought. In a remote work era, the M5 could be your all-in-one station, integrating with Zoom for crystal clear calls and automating reports via shortcuts. For hobbyists, think 3D printing workflows accelerated or music production in Ableton Live that's responsive and inspiring. Now, let's venture into speculation territory, the part that'll have you on the edge of your seat. What if Apple releases a Pro M5 Mac Mini with expandable storage bays or even official eGPU enclosure support? Leaks hint at deeper integration with Vision Pro, turning it into an AR workstation for virtual meetings or design prototyping. Sustainability angles, more recycled rare earth elements, and carbon-neutral manufacturing. And for the future proofers, rumors of quantum-resistant encryption could make it secure against tomorrow's threats. Imagine it as the nerve center for your smart home, controlling lights, security, and appliances via advanced HomeKit AI. These aren't just guesses. They're based on patterns in Apple's roadmap, and they could redefine compact computing. As we approach the finish line, reflect on this. The M5 Mac Mini isn't just a computer. It's a catalyst for innovation, blending power, portability, and intelligence in a way that's uniquely Apple. From its design elegance to its performance might, it's poised to dominate the mini PC space. If this has you pumped, smash that like button, subscribe for more tech revelations, and drop a comment. What's your dream feature for the M5? Thanks for joining me on this comprehensive journey. You've now got the inside scoop that sets you apart. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.